Quantum gravity. The first question I'd like to discuss here is does gravity happen in a space-time or gravity happen in space only? Results of research of our group are that space-time is four-dimensional and time is not a four dimension of space. Time is only numerical order of change that happen in four dimensional space. So gravity, it's a, it's a phenomena that happens in four D space. In a general relativity of theory of relativity, this four D space is curved, and because of curvature of space, stellar object, objects have a tendency to move into direction of higher curvature. With introduction of quantum gravity, where uh, space is made out of fundamental grains of energy called quantum space, we develop a model where curvature of space geometrical shape of space is defined, depends on quantum structure of space. What does it mean? When we have a presence of mass in the space, let's say a stellar object in the space, it's, it's causing that the space there is less dense. Where there is no material objects in, in, in outer space. Space is very dense. So some of space, of, of, uh, of energy of the space and the energy of mass somehow is constant. When we have a very big mass, very big stellar object, density there, it's very low. And the lower density of space creates its curvature. So curvature of space its result of its quantum density, which is defined by the presence of mass. That actually means that the gravity is not a moving from one object to another object. And that also means that gravity is not acting between two material objects. Directly, gravity is acting between two material objects indirectly in the sense that one material object is changing density of the space, it make, make, makes space less dense. The other stellar object makes space less, make space less dense. And change of density of space creates its curvature, shapes space in the way that uh, Massive objects have a tendency to move towards lower density of space. That means that gravity is immediate force. Numerical order of gravity to happen is zero. That means time is zero because time is numerical order. And uh, by Einstein Rosen Podolsky experiment, also, numerical order of this experiment is zero. Why? Because four-dimensional quantum space is a direct medium of information transfer between two particles. On the Planck size of the energy, all physical phenomena are immediate. That means numerical order of this Phenomena is zero, time is zero, time numerical order that we measure of, with clocks is zero. At the size of photon, numerical orders of phenomena are, are less. Things happen, let's say, very fast. And when we go higher, higher, then numerical orders that we measure with clocks are becoming higher. But everything happens only in a timeless universe. Time does not run in the universe. Time is numerical order of universal change. This is insight 
of my 20 years research and more about that you can see on other videos or you can buy my book Einstein's Timeless Universe and, uh, and have a good reading. Thank you very much.